for me to get power, I have to choose it every single day. And it doesn't get easier, but the power I have as I operate in business allows me to have this other thing that's really, you can't buy it, you can't build, it's the most powerful thing you can have in business, which is what? Certainty. Hey, this is Blake Sloan. I've been selling real estate over 14 years. Our team of highly trained professionals along with our unmatched marketing has sold thousands of homes here in the Myrtle Beach area, and this is how we do it. I've talked some of this to you guys. It's been here before. You need to hear it again because a lot of y'all aren't doing it. The brand new people, it's a huge opportunity to create and have an ability to choose power every single day. I want you guys to kind of look at a, a breakdown. Is you have the body, Right? Well, I'll talk about that. Why does that matter? So you have this trifecta here, right, that we have for the body, the being the balance. But what that does in essence and what we're looking to do here is that brings you the aspect to be able to access your business. Specifically, it offers you the power to access your business. Most people can't sustain a hard work and pushing for a long time. If they do, they're gonna burn something else to the ground. <clears throat> their marriage potentially, right? Their health, their physical, I, I, I sacrificed all that shit before. And so the first part we'll talk about from the body standpoint is important to weaponize your body. The energy you have is what makes or breaks your ability to do. We all know what to do, right? You all have the tools, the skill sets, everything that, that needs to be done, but what it has to have the power to actually do the you know you need to do. And it starts with my body and the ability to be weaponized. Now I'll tell you, I used to, I was signed up for ISI for, for a couple years and I did, it was right next door at the time. I didn't go that much. Adam Rice, the founder, was still here, came and put stickers on that door out there. Am I gonna show my ass up to the workout or not? You know why? Because I was working out to, to look good and feel good. It wasn't until I switched the way I looked at this entire process is that now my working out every day has one goal. What do you think it is? Power. That's it. Right? So this morning, didn't feel like going. I got six hours of sleep. Got this morning, super tired, came in, worked out. And guess what you feel afterwards? Power. Now I can come in, crush the meeting. Do what I need to do on my part? Attack problems and emails and shit going sideways because I've already been through something tough that morning and my body has been moving. Okay, and so is it easy? Nope. Does it suck a lot of times? Yeah, but it allows me to come in a place of power where I'm taking control of my life versus my life taking control of me. The being aspect. This is me right here that I've almost burned everything in my life done a few times doing. You know why? Because I deal with business. Business is tough. Business bleeds into my being, which is my happiness. I become this a mean asshole. I hate everybody. I hate life. I, I mean, I hate it, right? And you do real estate for too long, you will feel that way. And you allow that to bleed, which makes you angry, which in turn, I would sacrifice my balance. And I sacrificed real estate because I didn't like what I was yeah, going on. And so I'm trying to show you guys a hack now because it's just gonna, as this intensity comes around, right? You're gonna make a decision to choose power. You're gonna be able to be reactive to what's happening. And then obviously balance, why does that matter? The balance is my why. The balance is what I do what I do for, why I deal with the pain, why I push, why I push, right? To have that security for me or my family or my children. Or in essence, my future children. One of the stories I ran with for a long time is, hey, look, my children are going to have money growing up, right? And how they operate. So that's not a concern growing up. I'm not going to fight with my spouse about money, right? My parents fought about money. That was the only thing I remember them fighting about as a kid. Because my dad didn't produce. And so the reality is, I've got to make sure I'm dialed into this why at all times because that's what brings you more power to produce and make money in business. Level of yep, and then what happens if I don't focus on this aspect while I'm building a business, I finally get money, what happens to this? Gone. Gone. Most people you know are one or two dimensional. I know a lot of people with money that don't have the other sh Kids don't like them. Their second, third, fourth divorce, right? Whatever it is, and that's the reality. Or they're super, a lot of money, out of shape, sacrifice the body, way overweight, nothing you know to, to be able to trust from that standpoint. They're just good at one thing, making money. And so, how we win 
and dominate is we're able to do what? Be four dimensional on how we do it. And I want to show you where it's a way to gamify, and it's how we deal with the dark side of business. And the overall way to do this is to build your capacity. Coming from a capacity standpoint we talked about, I can have some weights, right, with 300 pounds on a barbell, and guess what? I can bring you here one by one to pick it up. One person may be able to, other person can't. The weight doesn't change. The weight doesn't change. So if it's 300 pounds and a couple people can pick it up, guess what? That's the same weight you're seeing in life and real estate. It all comes down to your capacity to handle all these. And so day in and day out, day in and day out of doing this, build your, your, through the compound effect, it builds your capacity. You guys with me on this? There's a way to gamify it. I'm telling you, it's one of the most powerful things I've ever done. And some of y'all have seen it, did it for a little bit, and then didn't. It's a way to make sure that you're having a game of life and allows you to have power when? Every single day. But for me to get power, I have to choose it. Every single day. And it doesn't get easier, but the power I have as I operate in business allows me to have this other thing that's really, you can't buy it, you can't build, it's the most powerful thing you can have in business, which is what? Certainty. If I come up weaponized, I've worked out that morning, I'm sharp, I've studied something positive, I've gone through all these things, and I feel connected, and I sit face to face with someone who has an objection, what am I able to do? Destroy that. Because I did the work before the battle. And that's what I want you guys to get at. So, reality, core four. I want to weaponize my body the first part. Make it super simple for you guys. Right? The goal here is you want to get uh, four points a day. I get four points a day total. It's a way to gamify it. I have an app I track it in. My phone. There's also, well, you guys can download a simple app called Habit Tracker. And you create it super simple to make sure you do it. But the first part of that, number one, did you sweat? You get a half point for that. Now, the key part here this is important. I got to sweat when? I used to work out at 6.15 at night. And Garrett told me, dude, that's pointless. What's the, power, what's the point of working out at 6.15 at night, getting power, and then trying to go to bed? You know, I was doing that. I'm like, well, shit, I never thought about that. I didn't know any better. I was trying to work out to do what? Get skinny and look good. But once it switched to getting power, they will do it. Now, a lot of people are busy, right? Got going on, got kids. It's still easy to sweat, right? Got a kid, got a baby, what do you do? Put a baby in a stroller and run your ass down the street. See it all the time, right? <laughs> Jeremy can do that, right? Reality is you're able to do it. You get there and just what sweat because now I'm getting my body in motion. I'm able to, to get control of my body where I'm not a slave to my body. Most people wake up tired, have no energy. They have no stamina. And so the reality is they're just reacting, living on caffeine that's not actually delivering long-term sustainable power. For a lot of people, they get confused, they complicate it. They want to do some crazy workout, do some crazy diet, just sweat every morning. And get up early and do it. Because I want to use the power and have that workout for us to be sustainable for the rest of the day. Point five, other one that we have is a green smoothie. It's your fuel. It's your fuel for your stamina, fuel for your energy. There's two ways to do it. Obviously a green smoothie, which I do, which is in the blender with spinach, and you can do some kale and obviously other stuff. There's also powder greens you can buy at Sam's or Amazon, or whatever it is, because most people aren't eating enough greens, enough energy to be able to do so. I do it. Mine's on my desk in there. I've done it for years and years and years, right? From a healthy standpoint, I don't eat enough greens, but it has fuel, stamina, it flushes all the toxins out of your body. It's been very, very, very helpful for me. Right? And I want to make sure I get my half point so I get my full point at the end. The next one, right, is my being. This has kind of been awesome. Why is being important again? Being is your sustainability, in my opinion. I watch people do this all the time. They don't work on their being because it's the hardest one to do. And then all of a sudden they get burned out. And then they disappear. They alienate. And then ultimately they'll either make it or not make it. it happens all the time. Right? And so, half point. You do, one for meditation. I thought it was a bunch of bullshit in the beginning. It's something that helped me a lot just from a connection standpoint. When I started doing the core four, I was angry. I was wound up like a top. And I was reacting to everything around me like a, like a, a mousetrap. I get something to hit me and I just go off. 
my clients, whatever it is. And so what I'm talking about from the connection standpoint, this has been the most powerful thing for me from a connection standpoint in regards to how I do it. Why? Because I'm slowing down my mind. Especially someone like me who talks fast, who moves fast, who's always constantly going. And there's simple apps to do that. You start with five minutes, then you can do 10 minutes. But no one takes the time to do what? To sit there and think. When's the best time to do that? Morning. Morning. As you do mine at lunch, but if I do it at night before I go to bed, there's no point in doing that because I gotta wake back up tomorrow and do the same thing. I wanna have connection with my clients. And the other thing that helps me do, uh, which is important, and I've, I've tested this here in ways, point five, for memoirs, right, which is a journal. For me, it's a stack. The most valuable thing I've ever done, probably, is the gratitude stack. Made me appreciate my life and all the things I have. I'll be triggered and angry and all these things about all this small shit that's going on. Two or three things that'll outweigh the hundreds of amazing things I have going on, the hundreds of amazing things I've accomplished. And so we got to, as a producer, take time and appreciate and just take inventory. And for me, though, as a producer, as an alpha type male, whatever you want to call it, it's hard for me to get those words out sometimes. It's hard for me to slow down and appreciate. I'll never forget sitting in the conference room downstairs after I started doing this and I was thinking like, holy shit, I can actually feel my clients now versus being jacked up on Adderall just bulldozing everybody. I'm telling you. And I was good at bulldozing. But the reality is once they started feeling, I can feel them. It's one thing that, that we learned that Garrett talks about too. It gets you this place of, of observer chooser. I'm in the actual moment and I can look and observe and feel what's going around me. Before, I have one deal fall apart, and I get past it, I'd be okay, I thought. Then I have another deal fall apart, and then what happens on the third or fourth day, I had another deal fall apart, what do you think happened? I snapped and unraveled, because I was carrying everything around me from before, and I was never dealing with it and releasing it from that standpoint, so I could truly be what? In the present. You gotta have a way to release the stress. More so than just sedation. Because if I sedate and I go drinking at night, right, to get rid of the pain, and I wake up the next morning, what do I still have? The problem. And the pain with the problem. This gives me the space and capacity to deal with my sh <laughs> With me on this? Super important. All right, next one. This is important as well. Balance. This is probably the single most important thing I've ever done in a relationship. Hands down. Point five, to send a daily appreciation message to my partner, right? That's what we call it, his partner, which is obviously your girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, whatever it is. It's a way to make a what? Connection. Deposit, which is also more connection. I'm making daily deposits. So if I look and I try to go, what most people do is they don't make deposits, don't make deposits, they try to go to the ATM and they try to withdraw the money. Problem is there's no money in there. And so what most people do is they don't make deposits to their relationship consistently over and over and over and over so that when things do go sideways or you have some shit happen or you have a fight or you gotta work a long time or whatever it is that you made the deposit so much ahead of time that it doesn't unravel under one thing. On the flip side, as a male, and I've noticed this in dealing with other people through Warrior Ad and being a certified trainer coaching, is that for a lot of males, it's very hard to do what? Show emotion. It's hard to show emotion. It's hard to share emotion. It's hard to do that. So forcing myself to slow down and write out something and make a deposit that I'm not naturally that good at, but my partner wants to hear and needs to hear to have their cup filled is a way to make massive deposits in value. And at the same time, here's the crazy part. When I take time to write my partner how much I love and appreciate them, who else does it help? Me. Because I'm taking time to take inventory and get clear and make that deposit when? Daily. <laughs> Daily, right? We talked about this, right? Daily. It's important to do that part. We're flying along here. Another point five per partner. Sorry, first point five partner, half point for posterity. What do you think that means? For a lot of y'all, that's your kids. Posterity. This is super important. Why is this important, you think? The voice that you put in their head as a kid is a voice going to play in their head as an adult. 
Say it again. The voice that you put in their head as a kid is the voice that's going to play in their head as an adult. You got to dictate the conversation, right? Part of the reason I'm here today, I think, in a business standpoint, my mom always just told me I could always do whatever the hell I wanted to do. I could accomplish anything over and over and over and over. And guess what? I just believed it, right? And this is a strategic way for you to do that and pour into the kids and your kids or whoever it is consistently. A lot of times it's done through uh, sticky notes on the mirror, right? Text message, regular notes. You can also do voice notes here. I forgot to mention that. Like yesterday I left Kaylee a sticky note to switch it up. You can do voice notes, whatever it is, but you want to constantly be pouring into obviously the children as they're young to let them know one, I love, honor, appreciate you, and what are you doing? Building up that stamina, building up that connection. If you don't have kids, what do you do? Pick somebody else. I, I pick you guys, right? Every once in a while, I send gratitude stacks out. I uh, try to rotate through that, right, to make sure I take time and appreciate that. And by the time I do that, it makes me appreciate it even more than you probably get it by receiving it because I took the time to go through and, and, and understand and, and appreciate, right? And so that's super important. Pick your family members, your mom, whoever it is that you can take time to do so. Now, why is this valuable? Because you know what you feel? Connection and fulfillment. If I send a nice message to Kaylee goes through, she sent me a message back at some point. I'm feeling pretty good about the day when I get some shit goes sideways. Guess what? It doesn't affect me as much. This shit goes sideways. Because now I'm already in a place of appreciation, gratitude, and I'm having those, 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 that, that feeling there from that standpoint. Now, here's the crazy thing. Don't expect to get something back. If you do this with expectation, you're not going to be too happy in most cases, especially for a lot of guys, right? If you've been a dick for two years, you start sending messages, you ain't going to fix that with three text messages, right? It's going to take some time in that aspect to make sure that you can do it and make deposits. I look at this as one reason, making deposits from a connection standpoint. But if you're a high producer and you want to make money in anything, you will have to put time in from a business standpoint. Not a little bit of time, a lot of time. And so this helps you be able to make that deposit where this is more some quality versus quantity of what I'm doing here. You guys agree on this? Last part, super important. Business. Two parts is point five for studying. Whatever it is that you need to hear business wise. Not some audio book on some foreign language, right? We wanna talk about how I'm gonna be a better salesperson, a better manager, a better leader. Uh, better, whatever it is, I want to make sure I'm having that, whatever's relevant to me right now. Second part of that is declare. In a way, this is hard for some people, but Ryan's example is perfect where you declared in what? A video. What happens when you say a video about what you learn? Uh, you, internalize. you internalize it. One thing that we do, started doing a warrior now, it's a little easier, is we have a, a, a declare stack or we just stack what we learn in this note thing that we have. But you need to be able to not just consume audiobooks over and over and over, just consume audiobooks. Why? Because you have no revelation. If I don't have revelation, I'll have growth. And so the power here is I get one point for body, right? One point for being, one point for balance, one point for business. When? Daily. Daily. Why? Because I gotta choose power. As times get tougher, I gotta get tougher myself. And the way to do that is to build myself from the inside out and who I am as a man or a woman and weaponize my, myself as a business person here. This is all designed to do one thing, get you paid more and be more in regards to who you are from a, a, a person in business. Why is that? Because it brings me certainty and increases my capacity.